All right. Uh, greetings, greetings, fellow grade elevens. It's Mr. Tajoy here, and what we are basically looking at today, we are going to be examining our November twenty twenty two paper. All right. Now this is going to be the paper which is from Howdy. All right. Now this is what we are going to be looking at. Now we are still looking at our topic, which is going to be our number patterns. Right. Now let's start here. Uh now firstly we are given that uh, we are having a a pair capex can into a pyramid, right? Now they say the can above are numbered, forming a pattern from the first number in each row, right? So they said forming a pattern from the what? From the first number each row, which means basically now this one here represents the number, right? And now which means basically here it's going to be this one, this is going to be the two, this is going to be the five, and this is going to be the ten because basically they said from the first number in each row right so basically that is going to be that so which means now are uh, looking at the following question the, the following question states that we need to determine uh an expression for the first value of the nth row uh of the pattern in the form tn is equals to a n squared plus b n plus c now what is it that you are going to do here let's start here now Remember, they said uh, the first number represents the first term, right? So, which means this is going to be your 1, uh, this is going to be your 2, this is going to be your 5, and this is going to be your 10, right? So, basically, this is going to be the pattern. Now, if you subtract here, remember, you are going to now look for your what? For your first difference. Your first difference here is going to be given by 1, 2, I mean, 5 subtract 2 is going to be given by 3, and 10 subtract that, that is going to be given by 5, right? And now, when you are looking now for our second difference, the second difference here is going to be given by 3 subtract 1, which is positive 2, and 5 subtract 3, which is going to be positive 2 again. Now, so for us to determine the TN, now what is it that we are going to do? Remember, uh, we discussed that now this is going to be equated to what? 2A is going to be equal to your 2, and then this is going to be equated to what? 3A plus your B, and then also this one is going to be are uh, equated to uh, a plus b plus u c isn't it so so which means now that's the first thing that you're going to do so we are going to say look your 2a is going to be given by 2 therefore your value of your a is going to be what because you divide by two both sides right now let's move uh to the second one now the second one is given by 3a plus b which is equals to 1 right now this is going to be 3 into 1 plus your b which is equals to 1 so therefore your b is going to be given by the value of what of negative 2 because this is 3 when you take it it's negative 3 then 1 subtract 3 is going to be given by negative 2 isn't it so then that is going to be that and then now the last value this is going to be a plus b plus your c is given by 1 now what is the value of your a the value of your a you've already calculated that it's one plus the value of your b it's negative two plus your value of your c which is going to give you one so therefore which means the value of our c that you are going to be given here it's going to be two because if you can look at this this is going to be negative uh this is going to be negative one when you take the, the negative one that side is going to be positive one so one plus one gives us the two are we together then now, which means the TN here is going to be given by AN squared plus BN uh, plus your C. Now, what is going to be your A? Your A is 1, which means this is going to be A, uh, A squared. What is the B? The B is given by negative 2. So this is going to be negative 2N plus 2. All right? Now, which means this is going to be uh, the equation of this particular expression. Now, if we are moving uh, swiftly along the 3.2, they say now, they want us to write down the numbers of the first or rather write down the numbers of the first can in what in the fifth uh row right now what is it that you are going to do for this one now we are simply going to look for t50 right now we are going to say what is going to be the t50 this is going to be you are going to substitute here 50 uh into n squared subtract 2 into 50 again plus your 2 and therefore which means your t50 uh, is going to be given by what your t50 is going to be given by 2402 right now that is going to be your t50 that you are going to be given now uh let's look at now a uh, 3.3 now they say now uh in which row will the last number be one two one right now so what is going to be that one now uh we are going to simply uh look at this one but since this is going to be your 
uh, this is going to be your what? This is going to be your numbers. Let's see. Now, if you can look at this row now, if you can look at this row, if you can analyze this row from this particular side, let's get another color here. If you can analyze this row from this particular side, this is one, this is four, this is nine, this is 16. What are these? So these basically are square numbers because when you say one squared, it is going to give you one. When you say here two squared, you are going to get four. When you say three squared, you are going to get what? You are going to get uh, nine. And when you say four squared, you are going to get what? You are going to get 16. So therefore, what is one to one in terms of uh, the, the square numbers, right? So when you say, if you can simply say, look, my n squared is given by one, two, one. Then you look for the root of both sides. You'll realize that the end is going to be given by 11 on this one, right? So which means this is going to be row 11, right? So row in number 11 is going to be given by that. Are we together? Hopefully this makes sense to you. Now, if you can move uh, swiftly along now to our uh, to our 3.4. Now in 3.4, what is it that you are given there? So uh, let's make up some space here so that we can write our 3.4. I think this will be enough, right? Now, let's see. Now, for our 3.4, they say now, if this pattern continues uh, consistently, which row will have uh, two, four, one cans? Now, look at this one. So now, since we are referring to cans, so we are going to now consider the number pattern of cans. Now, here, how many cans do you have in this one? You have one can. How many cans do you have in this one? You have three cans. How many cans do you have here? One, two, three, four, five. So we are having five cans. And how many cans do you have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I think. So we are having seven cans. So which means basically this is going to be what? This is going to be the pattern of the cans now. So let's consider the pattern of the cans. You have one, you have three, you have five. Uh, you have what? You have seven. Now let's find out what is the difference here. So uh, the difference here is given by uh, three uh, the difference here is going to be two. This is going to be two. This is going to be two. So basically now, because this one consists of the, uh, the, the difference, which is already constant. So we are saying this particular thing now, it's going to be what? This is going to be your arithmetic. It's going to be your arithmetic, uh, arithmetic pattern, right? Or your straight line. Others call it a straight line. Uh, this is going to be arithmetic pattern. So therefore, what is the formula for our arithmetic pattern? Let's firstly find out what is the formula for this one. For arithmetic, this is Tn is equals to A plus into N subtract 1 close bracket D. Now, what is A? A represents the first le uh, the first uh, term. So this is going to be 1 into N subtract 1. What is the difference? The difference is 2. So therefore, the Tn here is 1 plus 2n subtract 2. Therefore, your tn that we are going to have here, it's going to be 2n subtract 1, right? Because when you say 1 subtract 2, it's give you negative 1. Now, then you are going to say, what is it that you were looking for here? They are looking for the one that will be equal now to 2, 141 cats. So let's just squeeze it in here. So what is it that you're going to say? You're going to say, now look, 2, 4, 1 uh, is equals to, 2, 4, 1 is equals to, 2n subtract 1. So therefore, what is else are you going to go do now? We are going to take this uh this side. So you are going to have what now? You are going to have uh 240, right? But now rather this is going to be 242 is equals to what? 2n. Then you divide by 2, you divide by 2, which means the value of your n that you're going to find here is going to be 121, right? So the k that is going to be equals to your 241 is going to be uh 121, right? Are we to get? So that is going to be basically that one. So basically, this is how we are going to solve uh, these, part uh, these particular questions. Thank you very much.